I have an enormous amount of respect for wedding photographers. They often only have one opportunity to get that magic shot. My name is Mark Hemmings, a professional photographer, and I'm thrilled to showcase the work of Sherry Brown. Now, Sherry's a master at wedding photography. Her work's evocative, it's full of emotion, and very warm. The things that you want for a wedding photographer. We're gonna sit down and just get an idea of what she loves, her top five favorite photos, plus go through an actual shoot with a couple that she has lined up. I'm really excited about this episode. Let's begin. I love it. Now tell her something in her ear. Whisper. Amazing. Sir, thank you so much for inviting me to this session. You guys look great, by the way. This is going to be so fun. So what are we going to do? Well, Megan and Peter are getting married next year. Congratulations. And this is their engagement session today. And yeah. we picked the best location we could find in the yeah. fall and the best weather. OK, so let's begin. All right. All right, Megan, I want you to put your hand on Peter's chest and Peter, put your hand in your pocket and then I want you to get your heads close together. All right, now sniff her hat. Okay, now tell her a secret, make it funny. Awesome. Sherry, now how important is it to, to know your models beforehand? Like do you spend any time chatting like at a cafe or anything like that? Having a camera in their face is kind of like intimidating at first. Right. So I try to get us to like kind of like back and forth relate to each other okay. and then we start shooting slowly okay. it's not like get into it right away it's more like a natural ease now you come up with some pretty crazy instructions for the couples and it's really fun now how do you come up with this stuff it's a lot of trial and error yeah. and it's also like looking up different things that photographers do okay. all right guys so Megan go in front of Peter and Peter you're gonna smell her hair again her hat <laughs> And then you're gonna sway her left to right for me, okay? Sway her back and forth, back and forth. And whisper sweet nothings in her ear. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we didn't do that one last time, did we? <laughs> now we're gonna go through your top five, which I'm really happy about, especially because the first picture is an absolute gem. This is so classically romantic. So this one is so special to me because it's got so much meaning behind it. They did their canoe shoot for their engagement shoot and they also wanted it for their wedding. Okay. And because they couldn't get it on their wedding day, we decided to do it a couple weeks later. Yeah. And they got their canoe shoot and it's my favorite photo today. Now does that sometimes happen in wedding photography where there'll be a logistical problem where that ideal shoot can't happen so you have to do it after? Sometimes it happens, but most of the time it's very minor things, but this for me, for them, it was a big deal. And so I offered to do the shoot for them, even though I was really busy. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the depth of field, which uh, for those who don't know what that means, the background blur, unbeatable. It's perfect, I love it. Now, number two, Sherry, I know that there's a storyline here somewhere. The dog's here. What's going on here? What's the story? The uh, priest said, who gives this woman to be married to this man and their dog, who is their baby, walked up right in the middle of them and stood there for the entire ceremony. <laughs> That's absolutely incredible. And that is a story yes. that is so central to the art of photography because a lot of times photography is based on metaphor, allegory, storyline, narrative. And you have all those elements here with the dog actually being a part of this family. It's really brilliant. Yeah, it's their baby. <laughs> okay, so Megan and Pete, I want to use that hat. So I want you guys to give each other a kiss, but hide your faces with the hat. And I'm going to get this perspective. So go in there and just talk about me if you want, whatever you want to do. Pete, I want you to take your hand and like pull her in. And Megan, I want you to do the same thing. Pull them in. Yes, perfect. And do nose kisses. And then Pete, I want you to draw something with your nose on her cheek. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. I love the smiles. All right, guys, let's do something different. So we're going to pick her up, okay? So you're going to take your hand and pick Megan up with her 
back or her butt, whatever you feel com more comfortable with. <laughs> yeah, and then you're gonna lean down and give him a little kiss here. I love it. And swing her back and forth for me. Yes, perfect. And then just look at each other. Amazing, good job, yay, I love it. Now, Sherry, this couple, they're really earning their keep. Good work, yes, guys. they are, they're amazing. <laughs> Now, number three, Yes. that's a very fun shot. And I'm yeah. sure that in wedding photography, having that fun element must be central. Tell me about this shot. It's not a normal ceremony. They had an officiant who was telling their story in a personalized way. Yeah. And they couldn't help but laugh and everyone else couldn't help but laugh and cry at the same time. And it was just one of the best ceremonies that I've ever shot. So, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. You get reactions all the time at ceremonies. I can usually predict when something's gonna happen and sometimes, you know, people will be putting on their rings on their significant other and they would just start laughing because they can't put the ring on. So all the time I get reactions out of couples, but this specifically was like one of my best. So Sherry, for a walking shot, what do you as a photographer need to instruct the couple as they walk? It could be a little dangerous, possibly. Yeah, no, sometimes walking shots are very simple, just walk together hand in hand, but other times there's inst instructions to get kind of emotions and okay. reactions and like some kind of like connection going. Yep. So I'll instruct them to do something while they're walking. Okay. So here we're gonna do one and show you what I'm doing. Let's do it. Okay, so you're gonna put your hand around Megan's shoulder and you're gonna hold his arm, yeah. Put your hand around his, his back, perfect. And you guys are just gonna do the buddy walk. Your buddies, you're having a good time. All right, ready? And go, look at each other. Walk slow, give each other nose kisses. Love it. I love it. Perfect. Your next one, I recognize this place because I live in St. John as well. A beautiful city full of amazing architecture and unbelievable backgrounds for wedding photography. Now this, of course, is not a wedding per se, but it must be an engagement shot or what, what, what's going on here? So funny you say that. It was actually supposed to be an engagement party. Okay. Turned into a surprise wedding. Oh, a surprise wedding? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so they had it at a restaurant, Italian by Night, and they yeah. came out and they did a photo shoot in the alley. Yeah. And it was special. So that's why I love that shot too. Okay, so number five, when I saw this picture, I said, wow, what perfect timing because you have the flowers in mid throw. Tell me about timing with regards to something like throwing flowers. Yes, yeah, so this one here specifically yeah. was not even planned. The okay. guests planned it themselves apparently. Yeah. And I usually take the shots of them walking down the aisle. Okay. But then they saw, ooh, the flowers were coming and they decided to kiss at that moment. Wow. So I was lucky enough to get that shot. It was not a planned shot. It was totally candid and it worked out to be an amazing shot. So. Now because a wedding like this only happens once, you definitely want to overshoot. Now, with regards to overshooting, is this a good thing or is it a, a burden for a wedding photographer? No, I think wedding photographers love to overshoot. Okay. I, for one, love it. Um, the culling process is not fun. Like, picking photos is not fun. Right. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure you get those special moments that they've paid you to get mm -hmm. and throw away the ones that are blurry, the ones that don't work, yep. but making sure that there's a story to tell in that gallery. And one final question. Tell me about that process of sitting in front of your computer and pressing accept or reject. I don't know if it's an enjoyable process to be honest <laughs> because there's so many photos to go through yeah. and usually you're really tired after a wedding day and so you, you have to narrow down these photos because you don't want to end up editing 4,000 photos. Yeah. So I do pick the photos that tell a story, tell an emotion, give me a feeling. Okay. And then the must-have photos. So there might be photos that I have to have in there, but they don't really give me a feeling, but it's a part of the story. Certainly. Yeah. Well, Sherry, going through your top five was really exciting for me. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. And I'm sure we'll run into each other again walking through the streets. Can't wait. And we'll talk soon. <laughs> Thanks Bye -bye. a lot. Bye-bye. Well, that was so fun. I really enjoyed getting to know Sherry and seeing how she photographs within the context of wedding photography. I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you did as well, and I'll see you in the next one.